Now take a look at this. Two major medical organizations sounding the alarm in recent weeks about toxic chemicals in products all around us. So which ones do we need to watch out for? Well, here to break it all down for you is Fox News Medical A teams, Dr. David Samadi. Doctor, thanks for being here. Good so morning, Elizabeth. A bunch of things we're using every day are bad for us. Why? Look, I think this is probably one of the most important segments that we're doing because we've been emphasizing on exercise, diet, food, all that stuff. But sure. there are so many secrets behind the scene, and these can chemicals can change our thyroid, our hormone, endocrine disruptors, and they can lead to obesity without us knowing. So you could be eating all the right things, but using these products, and then you're exactly going to end up right. in, in a bad situation. We, I've actually, we're going to, you're going to school me and school our viewers right now on what things are okay, not so bad, and bad. We have those categories outlined. Let's start with uh, plastic food containers. It was just Thanksgiving. All of our leftovers are in them. This is actually really bad, and everyone knows this oh. because this has a lot of what we call bisphenol BPA, and they said there are a lot of studies that BPA can lead to breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer. So it's okay to use it once in a while to carry food, but don't ever put it in microwave. When you heat it up, that's when the toxin can get into your food. Avoid that it's not good for you. Okay, or switch to glass maybe. What about antibacterial soap? We're supposed to stay germ free. This is not so bad. I think if you use it once in a while, it's okay. It has some trickless and, and, and again, there are some studies that maybe it can increase the superbugs, but I think if you use it once in a while, it's okay. I'm not a big fan of it, but I think it's fine. Okay, our friendship might end here. Lipstick? Please okay. tell me it's okay, doctor. Okay, so lipstick is okay for you, but for a lot of people who may be pregnant and they use a lot of it, it has too much lead, it can cause nerve damage, can cause a lot of fertility issues. Once so, or twice or three times, not so bad over oh, not here. Not so bad. It's fine. If you're pregnant, please stay away from this guy. Gosh, okay. Canned food. Same thing. This is also in the same family as a bad category because it has BPA in the lining. And again, when your food stays there, a lot of those toxins can get in there and can cause especially breast cancer and prostate cancer. So try to stay away from any of these canned food as you can. I was at the grocery store. There can. are some BPA-free cans now. I did well, see that. So look for those. Those okay. are good alternatives Toilet for you. Toilet bowl cleaner? This is okay. This, is, right, this goes good. in the okay side. Again, it, this the, doesn't directly affect you. This has ammonia. As long as you're wearing masks, you're covering your eyes and skin, it may cause some irritation of your skin, but directly doesn't affect your hormones. Okay. Perfume. Well, this is my perfume for you, cologne for me. Yeah. As long as you're not really putting spray and like making it aerosolized, it can get to your lungs, I think it's okay. It has a lot of chemicals in it, but there's no direct study to show that this can cause cancer. Not so bad. Not so bad. Okay, we can continue to smell nice. Uh, Nonstick frying pan. So this is okay. You can put it over in the Good, okay area. I, I, like <laughs> I know you use it probably. Pan. Make sure you inspect it because if there's a crack, there's a lot of toxin here that with heat can actually get into your food. So you have to inspect if there's any damage to it, get rid of it and get a brand new one. It's a good investment in yourself. Okay. Mothball. Mothball is not so bad. It has naphthalene, and in animal studies shows that it can reduce your red blood cells or it can cause some cancers indirectly. In human, we don't have much studies. Okay. So try to stay away so from it, but if you use it, well. it's okay. Nail polish. What do you think? I think it's okay. I think <laughs> that's the women talking. So this is actually bad. It's not good for you. Uh, it has a lot of formaldehyde. Again, we're talking about pregnant All women time? that can use this. A lot of times they have a lot of uh, phthalates and they have formaldehyde that can lead to infertility in kids. So be careful with that. Okay, so we've heard, I've heard some studies about deodorant. What's, what's the verdict Deodorant is actually, it's, it's bad because it has a lot of aluminum and over time it can get absorbed through your skin. We don't think about this because we all use this all day. Time. Right. Over time, it can cause you some infertility, and so be careful with this. And what about your mattress? I mean, how so are you going to avoid that? I was that? actually quite surprised to see this. This is okay, and it's okay because you ha it has some chemicals and it has toxins. For kids, we're very uh, you have to be careful because it can cause over time some developmental testicular problems. Make sure you look for 100% toxin-free uh, mattresses. I never knew such a thing exists. They don't have to put them on labels, but look for them because if there are toxins and chemicals, you spend about a third of your life lying on this guy, on right. mattress. So a lot of these chemicals over time can absorb, and especially for kids, you want to be careful with this. So look for 100% toxin-free mattresses. I mean, that's mattresses. a big purchase that's too, big doctor. News. I mean, you have a mattress. You hope it lasts about a decade or so, right? I know. So, so that's that's a good investment. So by the way, there's so much information here. I'm going to put it on my own Facebook because there's tons and tons of good yeah. information here. Dr. David Samadhi on Facebook will have so much information. Okay, I need you to step just that way, right there, in the okay category. This You're, is okay. You, we are you okay? All right, fine. <laughs> More than okay, doctor. Thank you.